Also, Gascony, I- I just want to say I- I hate you. Alright, so get ready because we're gonna see a lot of consolidation within this video as well as a bunch of new colonies. Okay, so just about a decade has passed by. Let's go ahead and review over the map and kind of figure out what's going on. Still, Ireland and Irish Britain. That is, uh, I think, a fan favorite for sure right now. Gascony, Castile, and Portugal are uh, kind of the three biggest here in Southern Europe, if you disregard, like, the Italian Peninsula. Which, speaking of the Italians, we have uh, kind of the two biggest powers here hating each other. What's up with that? Sicily, which is kind of my favorite, and then Urbino. I will say I also have a soft spot for Bulgaria because uh, this is just so random. Like, this is really random that they're doing this well. So Sweden is dying, and Denmark seems to be, for the most part, in control of Scandinavia. Also, look at Barr just kind of popping up out of nowhere. You know, I initially really liked Champagne in the first video, but Barr is just as good. Portugal and Castile are going crazy right now in Western Africa, as well as uh, Nadongo here, fan favorite as well for reasons. And one of my favorite things ever, Little Valencia from Iberia is uh, colonizing the Cape of Good Hope. That is so awesome to me. And for the rest of the world, we have Ethiopia doing well in the Arabian Peninsula. We've got a few powers here in the subcontinent of India. Yarkand uh, is a great horde in the north. So is Chin, though. So is Chin. Please, for the love of God, stay alive. And finally, England is uh, most concerned about South America for some reason, uh, and Portugal is doing all the other colonization in the north. All right, some time's gone by. I'm looking at the British Isles. It Does it look like did something change hands here? Am I missing something? I I don't know. I miss a lot of things. Gascony is being uh, completely obliterated, it looks like, by... Is it just Savoy? Oh, no. I think... Wait, how is this even happening? That's a very small little country. That's what that is. I'm thinking they're getting a little bit of support from somebody else, though. Valencia, man. It's Valencia. Those guys are... They're, they're, the, best, they're the best country in the game. I mean, they're still holding strong in, uh, in Iberia, even though Castile seems to be growing up towards southern France. Oh, no. Oh, no, you bastard peasants. There's a peasant revolution going on in Valencia. Oh, okay. What happened? They must have given in to demands or something, I don't know. Well, as far as I'm concerned, this is just the best country in the game. We could just stop the series right here. Ethiopia started losing a little bit of territory here. I think Jerusalem either coming back or maybe these these guys are doing something. Oh, bam, right before our very eyes, just a big-ass war pops up. Ethiopia and Alexandria. And Alexandria, am I saying that right? Yeah, they're, they just, uh, they're still allies and they're fighting off... I don't even know. Lots of nations. Holy shit, Theodoro. This is the most beautiful purple color I have ever seen in EU4. They, uh, they look like they really took a... Whoever these blue guys are. Yeah, they punched them in the face. Oh, Sweden wiped out Sammy. I'm assuming that was Sammy. S-A-M-I. Well, yeah, so Sweden is kind of back. I don't know if it's going to help them stop Denmark, though. Yarkand seems to be kind of breaking apart here as Chin still, still holding strong. That's my boy. Oh, man. Oh, snap. We might have a second best colony here. Breton, Panama. Brittany did manage to get here to Central America. Good for you, Brittany. That's what I'm talking about. I knew I wasn't as dumb as people say. Brittany was a smart choice. I, I swear. Anyways, uh, England now has English Mexico. Uh, we have Castile finally here in Castilian Louisiana. And uh, yeah, Florida is still controlled by the Portuguese. Okay, Timmy, what the hell's going on? Y are you drinking? Give me your keys, Timmy. You're drunk. You're drunk. What are you doing up here? It looks like Malwa and Bengal aren't even concerned about the Indian subcontinent. Oh, they're actually buddy-buddy. Oh, that would that, that kind of explains a lot. So I'm assuming that's why they're kind of slowly creeping up towards the north here. Oh, Brittany, you are making me so damn proud. I feel like a happy father. Papa's very happy right now. Maybe now even Canada will fall to the Briton... Briton... Empire? Brit? No, that's not right. Oh, look how sweet that is. Little Iceland housing 16,000 English regiments. I'm sure nothing bad will come of that in the future, Iceland. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. Kenem Bornu just beating the shit out of Castilian Africa right now. Oh, I might have spoke too soon. There is a 22,000 Castilian regiment that's coming up. Oh, I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay. Ethiopia and Alexandria seem to have survived that, that little war that they're going through. Alexandria gained a lot of territory out of it too. I knew there was a reason why I love Valencia. Look at this. They're allied with Iceland. That's it. I mean, they have a, they have another small friend there, but for the most part, that's it. Like that, th this, that's all their friends are these little guys, and they're still surviving. They're still colonizing. It's 1678, and Portugal is invading Castile. Also, Gascony, I, I just want to say I, I hate you. 
And by the way, this is just Portugal dominating Castile 1v1, basically. I mean, this, I, I don't think these guys are doing that much effort, work, whatever. Urbino now controls the entire Italian peninsula. They just completely kick Sicily back. Again, it's a sad day. But you know, Irish Britain is still going strong, so that's all that matters. Oh damn, Scandinavia out of nowhere. So Denmark clearly formed this nation and, uh, and they're kicking Sweden's ass. Bulgaria, no! My buddy! Yeah, Austria just started moving out towards the east here, and oh my god. Oh, Jesus. The fall of Bulgaria. I don't see how this video could get any more depressing. Perm doing a pretty good job, taking a lot of territory, I think, from Muscovy. Theodoro is still doing pretty good. Wh who are you allied to? Oh, uh, nobody, basically. Yeah. And Touch? Well, yeah, well, these guys, yeah, they're doing pretty good. Actually, they just crushed the former... Uh, Iranian power. Mawa also got in on the fun, and now they control all of the southern territory too. Jeez. I really like what Korea's doing here. Korea might actually have a chance of, you know, staying alive, because Japan tends to just, you know, invade the peninsula, and they're dead. And there's a resulting peace deal, Portugal and Castile, basically just splitting the peninsula down the down the middle. Here's another look at the HRE, just in case anybody was wondering, because I know people would flip out if I didn't look at this window. And we're in the age of absolutism. Uh, I almost forgot to look at all this stuff, and uh, that would have been very bad. England and Portugal are really the only powers here in uh, South America, but a lot more things are happening in North America. So uh, English Mexico seems to be pretty successful. Um, we still have, we still have Britain, Panama. Brit, Britain? Breton, Panama? I don't really know how to pronounce that. But I think it's really likely that we'll see a lot of these European powers lose uh, most of their colonies by the end of this campaign. Oh, this is a pretty awesome war. Alexandria and Ethiopia, you know, the two best friends for so long, trying to take on these guys of the north and Ottomans. I'm sorry, these guys of the north, that is like the lamest name I can come up with. Oh, we finally have somebody in Australia. It's Portugal, of course. Portugal, though, dealing with some pretty angry uh, Eastern Europeans, Austria, Scandinavia, and, uh, and Urbino. I guess I can't technically refer to them as Eastern. Oh, I think what was happening, I think they were just supporting Pomerania or something. I don't really know what was happening in that war. Thing is, Valencia is still around in the Cape of Good Hope, so that's all I care about. Florida was founded by Castile in, like, Maryland, Virginia, and Northern Carolina. All right, okay, cool. I'm just wondering if these people in Florida are gonna be as crazy as uh, all the Florida memes, all the Florida guy memes out there. Oh, the Chukchi are around. I had no idea the Chukchi were in this game. I, do, am I smoking crack? Have they been here this entire time? It is the turn of the 18th century. I always kind of have to think twice when I say that. Uh, and Alaska is here, formed by Castile. We also have England getting in on the Pacific fun with uh, California. Oh, yeah! I mean, at this point, the colonization game really feels like it's just basically between two people. That's England and Portugal. Things look about the same in South America. The Inca are clearly losing a lot of power now, though. We have two new powers in Africa. That's pretty cool. Morocco formed. Well, wait, no, Morocco didn't form, I think they just came out of nowhere. Well, okay, I'm stupid. Egypt formed, though, that's for sure. For the most part, Europe has stayed about the same. Milan seems to be doing pretty good up north, even though I still will never forgive those bastards for taking over Corsica. Scandinavia, though, might just be this dark horse that uh, nobody is expecting, but they're just gonna continue to move out towards the east. That's a smart plan. Because this late in the campaign, and the fact that there's no Russia, means that, yeah, this this whole area is open to anybody. Valencia, South Africa is now probably way more powerful than uh, Valencia in Iberia. And I think it's safe to say that just the way Castile has handled their colonial wars, they're gonna probably lose every single colony. I'm a very lucky man because it does look like Chin uh, might be forming, I don't know if you can form Ming or whatever, but they're gonna be the dominant power here in Northern China. Australia still looks about the same. Nobody, uh, has got to New Zealand just yet, so nobody's working on the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Oh, look at that! Austria, who kind of kicked Bulgaria's ass earlier in this video, is guaranteeing them for- so that's good. We should still see a little small Bulgaria exist. Oh, I had no idea this big war was going on. Ireland and England and Gascony fighting Portugal. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, holy shit, it's a succession war. Oh my god. Okay, Gascony and Portugal fighting over uh, succession. Oh, that's pretty crazy. Okay, so let's go ahead and check on the development for the first time in this video. Malwall still number one. Wait, they're not still, but they've been in the top five for a while, I think. Over a thousand. Then it's Austria, the Ottomans, Chin, and Scandinavia out of nowhere. 665. I think it's Breton. Breton? Canada? Yeah, uh, they pissed off too many Native Americans, and uh, they're now beginning to be overrun. Portugal looks like lost their succession war over Gascony, if I was reading that correctly, uh, but they do have a junior partner, nonetheless, Brabant in the north here. Timmy is still very drunk. Uh, don't worry, I took his car keys though, he won't be driving anytime soon. And finally, this is a last look at the map so far, 1712. So we have one more video left in this series, we're gonna see what happens uh, the final century in this campaign. 
this was for the most part a pretty sad video because there were a lot of uh, of nations that I was pretty depressed to see go down like Bulgaria which they're doing kind of okay Brittany obviously not doing good in Europe we still have Valencia that's that's my personal favorite uh, but let me know in the comment section down below what is your personal favorite so far uh, I know that I'm not able to cover like every single country because we're moving through time so fast but um, yeah definitely it's kind of interesting to see you know who you guys like uh, so let me know down below anyways guys thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time